Hey, welcome to another episode of BeersAndBars.com. Today I'm coming to you from San Diego, California. Uh, this weekend I'm celebrating my 21 years of being married. Um, and advice if I could give you any guys, uh, marry a woman that allow you to do uh, beer reviews, knowing damn well it's just a hobby and it won't make you a cent of money. Uh, and she's definitely been uh, very supportive and everything that I do, even though she knows I'm getting buzzed and doing beer reviews and not making money doing it, but enjoying myself. So thank you. Love you, babe. You might hear in the background, she's taking a quick nap. <laughs> but hey, that's marriage, right? Nothing's, you know, we're not, uh, this is just me and the laptop. So you hear what you hear and we try to do our best. But today, here in San Diego and uh, especially being in San Diego I was really uh, looking and luckily I did find uh, a stone tropic thunder lager now I wasn't looking for this particular style of beer but I was definitely looking for a stone brewing selection because I just found it that to be in San Diego you really have to look at one of the innovators when it comes to craft beer independent beer uh, definitely stone ranks high on my list of breweries that really never disappoint and really bring out the best beers um, most creative and just high quality type beer so uh, especially I'm especially being a fan of lagers I definitely really wanted to try this Tropic Thunder Lager because I thought it was a, a great combination of you know hoppiness but also um, a lager. I really love lagers because uh, lagers is one of those styles of beers that you really have to get right. You, you, you can't uh, hide any mistakes, any defective stuff uh, with a lot of hoppiness. You, it's because it's usually lagers are really mild. Um, you can't really disguise behind certain things. It just has to be on point. So I'm very, um, excited and very interested in figuring out the flavors that come um, into play when drinking this uh, lager and especially that's what I really love about craft beer um, the brewers out there really um, stick their necks out with different combinations just trying things out and you know with the highest quality hoping that um, the customers really like it and I really appreciate it, even though certain styles may not be my my cup of tea. I really like the opportunity to try all these different uh, selections. So with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into Stone Brewing Tropic Thunder Lager. So Friday here in San Diego and beautiful weather. It was uh, overcast, but still still beautiful if you guys ever have a chance to come down to San Diego I definitely uh, recommend you guys come down enjoy yourselves go to Old Town go to the gas lab maybe catch a Padre game if you can't the Chargers aren't here anymore uh, but love live I live in Los Angeles personally Chargers fan that's why I bought this hat not for the Padres for the Chargers uh, but really love San Diego whenever I get an opportunity love uh, driving down the five and uh, hitting up my fellow Californians here in San Diego. All right, guys, let's go ahead. All right, beautiful. Beautiful head, a little bit of carbonation right there, clear. Check that out, beautiful. Definitely not your typical lager aroma. Uh, you could definitely get the hoppiness, the citrus aroma. Let's go, let's go ahead and try it. Smooth. Um, but it definitely has those that hoppiness um, comes to mind, uh, that bitterness. And now to make uh, 
a comparison. So a typical logger, or let's, let's just say Budweiser, usually has a IBU between seven and 10. Now this one is 45, so definitely has a bitterness to it. Uh, it's a little bit higher than the typical um, uh, lager as far as uh, when it comes to ABV. This one's uh, 5.8, but it's still lower than a typical um, IPA. And uh, for mine, what based on what I've tasted in the past, uh, as opposed when it comes to IPAs and lager, this one really tastes uh, more or less like a session IPA. So meaning that it has that hoppiness to it, but yet the ABV isn't that high. So it's something that you could enjoy and uh, you don't have to, you know, you, you still catch a buzz, but it won't be something that'll hit you, especially with those higher um, alcohol content beers. This one's definitely something that you could sip on, enjoy a few and still have your wits by, you know, so definitely a really good beer. And what I always like to say, a, a good beer is something that I would like to share. Something I would like to share with my brother, uh, my brother-in-law. Something they would really appreciate and think they would definitely appreciate uh, this offering by Stone. All right, guys. Well, we drank another beer together. Hope you guys liked it. Thanks for watching another episode here on beersandbars.com. And if you haven't done so already, have a great beer and remember, find yourself a woman or find yourself a guy who will let you enjoy yourself even though they know that that part of your life may not make a lot of money, but also guys, make sure that the part that does make money, you're good at and you, you share it with your spouse. All right guys, thanks for watching and have a great one.